chapter 23, this entire passage is basically calling out the false prophets of the day of Jeremiah. And there's a lot of things that are given here, a lot of attributes that we see about false prophets and false teachers. And there's a, there's a special place. There's a, you know, being a false prophet is not something that everybody does, obviously. Because this is something that someone who is stepping into a position of being a pastor, of being a leader of like a church or something, it's only people who kind of step into those roles who are going to end up, that could potentially end up being in this category of being a false teacher, a false prophet, a son of the devil that, that is looking to steer people away or doesn't give reverence to the word of God. And we see here a, a lot of things that God is, is very, gets very angry about this and, and no doubt. What is it that, that gets a person saved? I mean, think, think about the integrity of God's word. How much God puts an emphasis on his word. And what is it that we have to believe? We have to believe the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The word of God saves our soul. Jesus Christ is the word made flesh. God's word is extremely important. It's so important that he said, I'm going to preserve it. He's not left it just up to man solely to preserve his word. He says, I'm going to preserve my word. Because that's the only way he's going to make sure that his word can be unadulterated and survive and be timeless throughout the ages. God has an emphasis on his word. And you know what gets him angry is when people say, thus saith the Lord, and they speak out of their own heart. When someone says, this is what God said, and it's not what God said at all. And in this example, he's getting to the point where at the end of the chapter, he's like, I'm telling you specifically, don't say the burden of the Lord. He's like, I don't want you using that phrase. I don't want you saying that anymore. And what do they do? People are still saying the burden of the Lord is this, the burden of the Lord. And just in direct contradiction to what God himself was saying. And they'll just say, thus saith the Lord. And they just come up with whatever. 